Hi, I'm Alex Holton. I'm a mechanical engineer with Acorn Product Development. I'd like to talk a little bit about tolerance stack up and analysis in engineering. Uh, easiest way to grasp this concept is by diving into, into an example. So, for instance, let's say we have a four plate stack that we're trying to fit within a uh, set height ceiling here. And the total height of the plates is 30 millimeters. Uh, the total height of the ceiling is 30 and a half millimeters. And this leaves a half millimeter gap between the plates and the ceiling. So the question is, is there an instance or scenario uh, where these plates will interfere with the ceiling? And at first glance, you say no, because uh, you have a half millimeter gap here. But we need to look at the tolerances of each element and plate to ensure that's correct. So if we take plate one, for example, um, let's say we order 100 of these, and they come in from the fabrication shop, it'd be unrealistic to assume that every one of those 100 plates will come in at four millimeters exactly. Therefore, uh, we need to apply a tolerance to, this, to all the plates. In this scenario, we have plus or minus two millimeters. So what that means is that this uh, plate could be on the lower side, 3.8 millimeters, and on the higher side, 4.2 and then any plates in between are acceptable. If we took this bag of 100 plates and started measuring the heights, we could expect to see something similar to here. So we reach in the first, take a measurement, and notice this plate is exactly four millimeters. The likeliness of that happening is actually pretty high because the machine is, is using a, a high precision, high accuracy CNC machine. Uh, and let's say we reach in again, we notice it's 3.995 millimeters. Chances of that, also pretty high. Because uh, again, high accurate machine. Now, as we get closer to these limits, the likelihood of that happening is less likely. Um, also, it is possible uh, for a plate to fall out of these ranges. So, probably of that is the lowest. And you'll notice that as you go through and take measurements, eventually you'll have a curve resembling this bell shape. And every plate, and every, and as well as the ceiling, will have a normal distribution curve uh, of this nature. And in order to answer our initial question of uh, will the plates interfere with the ceiling, uh, we'll need to take an aggregate of all five distribution curves, which requires some pretty involved math um, and some time, which is also time consuming. Fortunately, we've created this tolerance analysis spreadsheet where we can plug in our elements, our tolerance values, and gaps. And the spreadsheet automatically generates the aggregate distribution curve and other significant data points. So for our loop, we can conclude that if we recreated this assembly a million times, we'd expect an interference only 800 times of those a million, which equates to a 0.08% failure, which is very good. So in conclusion, this spreadsheet is one of our critical tools, which gives us the ability to simulate and analyze up to 10 to 20 tolerance loops in a single day uh, for products and designs of all industries and at any stage of development.